right there. Why is that book in the shower? Book. Are you dirty? Are you a dirty book? Gotcha. Huh? You're turning yourself into a dirty mag? What's up, my is Johnny, and welcome to my inner demon. Listen, we're getting right into here. Just waking up. I'm in the kitchen. Did I get drunk? What? Oh, Ooh, your voice acting. Okay. Okay. Where am I? So I'm the chick. Gotcha. Oh God, a dead man. Yeah. Did you, you kill it? Did you kill it, Jay? Uh, welcome to this strange place. I have no idea who I am or where this is. I feel weirdly calm. I will look around and see if I can find any clues of what is going on. Okay, so nothing left. All right, so you walked in here, so you should probably. I wonder who it belongs to. No idea. All right, 12th of September, 1980. I've arrived at Mountain View. I can see where the name comes from. The mountains and trees surrounding the town gives it a picturesque look. I have a ground apartment at the Bellgate building. It has so much character and history. The other tenants are very friendly and helpful. I was moved in a jiffy. Not that I have, uh, not, not that I had many belongings with me. I quickly found a space for them among my Aunt Sally's stuff. Anna invited me for dinner. I hope she will be my first friend here. Okay. Hmm. Knife? Did I do something with the knife? Okay, so we got clues. Let me find a clue. It, it A man with bad luck called John. Lived here. A crow talks. Hearing his tale will give you a tear. On drugs. This apartment was his mom's before violence turned her into bloody gore. Man, I don't like. Don't give me. Don't riddle me this, okay? I don't want. Listen here, Riddler. I don't. That's fine. Last month, he lost his wife, house, and job. He sold his mom's old stuff with a sob. Mom's life insurance gave him some hope, but bad luck showed him he was a doe. Good. Not good. That's awful. Why, why is that good? I'm so sorry. Precious piece of paper. All right. That's all. Two will die from the vapor. The paper is the source of his soul. Find it, and you will have reached your goal. Okay. Close that Find up. John's life insurance. Got it. Got it. You gotta tell me twice. All right. Journal. Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, Shish Crow started to talk to me. Crazy, I know. He told me about John and I have my, I, how I must find his mom's life insurance. Okay. We gotta find his life insurance. Can we open this up? Nope. Alright, so it has to be in this room over here. There's really not much Poor guy. here in this house. Horrendously. We got painting. Our paint. <laughs> oh, this stinks. Okay, why is it spraying though? Relax. Let's get rid of some of these bottles. Let's go! Life gotcha. insurance. Thank you. Grab that. And the door opens. Phenomenal. Into the darkness we go. Into the abyss we uh, arrive. I got a fleece light. Okay. That money's right there. A little bit of money stacks. What, what happened? <clears throat> I teleported? The guy oh teleported too? I think the guy teleported too. Damn, another dead body. Okay, journal it up. I teleported after finding John's insurance. I cannot believe it. It feels so strange. Looking through the windows, it is all dark. I can see some buildings, trees, and rocks. Okay, so that was the door was right. What? Sarah was a really lucky girl. Uh huh. She received good news, which made her twirl. The lottery gave her some money, just enough to keep her days sunny. She wanted to help her good friend John this crow, I don't like it. again for another con, buying crates of shady bottles of wine. Drinking one made her feel not so fine. Keep it going. A <laughs> in a secret place, find her stash, bring a smile to her face. In that way you have saved her soul. There's more to the story. Or a foul. Or a foul. Whatever, dude. Find Sarah's stash. Got it. Got it. What am I like a freaking detective? This time I can look for Sarah's stash. I cannot refuse otherwise. I will be stuck in this apartment for a very long time. Keep hitting in next like an idiot. Well, there's freaking stacks of hundos right there, you know. You got more than that? I bet it's in, I bet it's in here. Ugh. You would think with all that money she would buy a new. Couch. I think it's inside the couch. Let's freaking go. Nope, it's a freaking this key. Will open a door. Okay, my key then. This, this, what? 
What's this? I hope it is more interesting than the last one. All right. <clears throat> uh, 22nd of September 1980. The building of foggy uh, is foggy, damp, and dark. It needs repairs, which are starting to become extensive, and is beginning to eat up my savings. The saving grace of this place is a view in the area. Dinner at Anna's was awkward. She doesn't say much and I had to carry the whole conversation. She, she seems quite naive. The weather forecast is sunny with some clouds later today. I'll be able to do some washing. Can I turn on the TV? Why? Well, turn, turn, turn it off. Yep, yeah, yeah, thank you. Broken. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want that on anyway. I don't want that in my freaking ears. I Knife? don't think I want to touch it. You probably a good idea because the whole fingerprint thing. All right, let's open this door. Oh, this maybe. Gotcha. gotcha, dude. Let's go. Boom. All right. I do kind of like this little game. It's actually kind of good. I, I'm going to puke. Why? Another more dead, dead bodies. bodies. Tell me about it. All right. Teleported again. This time I am not feeling so well. Strangely enough, I don't feel hungry or thirsty. I have no wish to use the toilet either. Okay. Up, down, up, down. All right. Um. So you slipped on a car and then hit your head? Huh? You okay? You you dead, dead. You you dead. A healthy man lived in number three. Live healthy was his basic decree. Ben had another secret passion. Collecting cars was out of fashion. So he he wasn't he alone bumped loving his, his toy head. cars. Sarah's toy car lanes left many scars. She would always forget to pick up, giving Ben a reason to blow up. Like I said, he hit he his head. Last night he was taking a warm bath. The last time he would explode with wrath. Can you please find his favorite toy car? You will find his soul on your radar. You will find his soul on your radar. Find Ben's favorite toy car. Got it. Okay, we got another journal. Find Ben's toy car. Really, a grown man and a woman playing toy cars. Hey, each their own, dude. All right, I play video games for twenty-four. It's all right. Sometimes you just gotta do. It. That's like a guilty pleasure. Read it. Maybe. <clears throat> Let me see. All right, 28th of September, 1980. The longer I stay here, the better I get to know the people. The tenants were friendly at first, but they are starting to show a different side. John, tenant number five, wasn't born under a lucky star when I tried to dissuade him for a bad investment. I was ignored. Sally, tenant number six, her place is the smell of a distillery. There's always a knife in every apartment, I've, re I've realized. Okay, so I'm gonna find a toy car. Can we turn this off? I wonder if you have anything inside of you. Probably. Smash it up. Nothing. What noise? Bunch of the toy cars. I hate looking under strange beds. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Gotcha. Boom, let's go. Okay. Starting to get creepy and creepy. Alright, we got a door open. Boom. Oof. What's happening? There we go. Okay, we get it. Don't want the whole teleportation thing. You throw up everywhere? Feel better. Great. Great. You fell you fell down. You didn't fall down at all. I feel I said that. Why am I not surprised? Well, what are you gonna say to me? How embarrassing I threw up. I but strangely free. Feel a lot better. Also more optimistic that I will get out of the here and away from the crow. Okay, so we can go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Talk to me, coach. There we go. Obviously, the ladder was the tool, killing her and leaving a blood pool. She loved to play piano at night. Her fake Van Gogh's a beautiful sight. Man, quit riddling me stuff. Anna lent her ladder to Ben last. Me, quit being a poet. You're a crow. Go fly around. Aghast. He didn't look after her ladder. Mm, she's a lady, and showed no anger okay it shows you no matter how wealthy death is king and we will bend the knee the piano might be your first clue or maybe it is the horse statue i bet it's the uh, uh what must i search for the piano or the horse statue must have a clue journal calling it told you uh 
The crow doesn't specifically give me an object to find. I need to search the piano or horse searching for a clue. I'm gonna guess it's probably the piano. Oh my god, that actually scared me. All right, uh, piano. A music sheet. I don't. I see no music sheet. I don't know what that was. I can't play the piano, so. Nothing. Then it must be the piano. Yeah. Okay. So. We got the music sheet, but what do I do with the music sheet? This is a beautiful music box. And we're just freaking Sherlock Holmes in over here. Figuring stuff out. No clues out here. Well, I guess the crows give me clues. Jump scare? I don't like that. Hello? We get it! I can't do nothing. I'm gonna fall asleep. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I fell asleep right there. Better knife. Alright. Okay. So what do I do with the freaking knife? Gotta read this. Somebody must love writing. By the freaking crow, dude. <clears throat> that crow seems sus. Uh, first of October of 1980. Tired of tripping over Ben's cars. Tried telling him to put them away, but he keeps arguing that Sarah is the one putting them in the corridors. Anna is such a silly woman and she will believe anything. Ben told her about a ghost living on the roof, and now she keeps nagging me to keep the roof doors locked. I ignore her most of the time because I enjoy visiting Aunt Sally's pot plants and looking out over the view, which is odd today. A lot of crows got it on the uh, street lamps. They seem to somehow menacing. I also always a sign of death. I wonder. Oh, okay, this is the Van Gogh thing they're talking about. Ooh, okay, I got it. I'm sorry, E. You know how competitive Beth is. Okay. Can't move. There we go. Here we go. How long is this freaking game? Woohoo, I didn't throw up. <laughs> So, Dr. Watson, what do we have here? <laughs> Poor thing is really ill. So she died of, like, natural causes, or does she just... There's blood there, so maybe not natural causes. Beth was always a fragile person. She had a strong will and liked to win. She loved to read any kind of book, but never, ever ask her to cook. Okay. Anna brought dinner for Beth last night. Taking a huge bite, her throat got tight. Every body part started to swell. She couldn't get a word out to yell. That's the thing I don't want to freaking deal with, man. Like I know death's inevitable, Allergies but can be so it's definitely just weird. It can leave you. Totally it's not gonna happen any time, you know. Beth's favorite was an adventure. Follow the clues. Find the find answer. Find the answer. Okay. Adventure. Hmm. Her favorite thing to do is read. Maybe I am after a book? Got it. <coughs> Journal entry. All right. Find Beth's favorite adventure book. Gotcha. Which one is it I wonder? We got food, we got food there. Can you open this? No. All right. If I were a book, oh, wait, got another yes, one of these. I need to read it. The last journal left me on a cliffhanger. Okay, 14th October 1980. Repairs are on a course. Are on course. I, am, I saw Anna offering Beth some nuts, which she loudly refused. On a side note, I had to help Anna drag her ladder to Ben's apartment. What a lazy man that he can't help us. I am being side-eyed by Beth. I'm hearing my name being mentioned between the tenants. Yet each time I turn around, they all have something else to do. Tonight, I'm calling a meeting to the rooftop where we can talk this out. So, rooftop, I bet. Nothing in the pot. Okay. So many books. I also like to read, so, uh, I get it. I like to read stuff that, like, opens my mind up. Man. Um, we got a knife here. Do all of these people have the same knife? Well, I'm saying every knife is in this, every in the apartment. I said that last time. Okay, so if I were a book, you'd think it'd be here. Not there. Or you can go outside, through the windows. Okay, we gotta, we gotta check the, uh, Right there. Why is a book in the shower? Book. Are you dirty? Are you a dirty book? Gotcha. 
Huh? You're turning yourself into a dirty mag? Dirty magazine? Showing the nudes everywhere to everybody? Another apartment? Are you kidding me? This must have been how the Star Trek crew felt. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Scotty. Can't say it out loud. You do know I'm getting tired of this. Seeing dead bodies and searching for their souls. When can I go home? So, where's the body? Maybe I am the body. Holy crap. I just not figured it out, I bet. Oh. Stop. The crow isn't speaking to me. Don't know why. I have done all, the, all he asked. Will he look around and see if I can find the next soul? Why, who, when, where, evil? Well, now it's getting scary, and I don't like it. A door here, nothing in here. There's gonna be a monster in here. I'm not really for, not really for that. <laughs> okay, don't be weird. Oh, Ellie, my dear, you naughty girl. I knew it wasn't for the murderous thrill. Paint. You gave Jean the old paint tins with lead. Poisonous gas made sure he was dead. I kill, oh, I kill everybody. You knew Sarah bought some wine bottles, poison in it, made sure she crumbles. I kill everybody. The next one, not so easy to plan. A red toy car brought down a whole man. Holy crap. You borrowed Anna's ladder from John. The next person on it would be gone. Oh my goodness, I killed everybody! I killed him! Lastly, but not forgotten, poor Beth. You made sure that dinner meant her death. What will be the motive for all this? Your eviction case will be dismissed. Holy crap. You wanted to sell this old building, but the tenants fought you for this thing. You came up with this brilliant plan. The execution made me a fan. The scene will end with this final call. Oh God, it was me. I killed, I killed them all. Say it out loud, girl. Ellie, you are a naughty girl. Just one more thing. Where is the body? This is the last one, which you will see. Okay, it's probably gonna be me. I think I'm gonna kill myself on some real stuff. Ooh, that's a nice scenery right there. They got you just before you got them. I'm talking about repent before your souls get condemned the knife Victory at last holy over. crap let go of the past and the anger dude this was phenomenal in loving memory of my mom 24 may 1944 to march 5th 2019 rest in peace to your mom my guy or girl Sorry to hear that. All right, that was phenomenal. All right, everybody, this was my inner demon. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, or tell your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll see you in the next video. Look out for me, myself, and I.